Off the French coast of Normandy, in the English Channel, lies an archipelago known as the Channel Islands. Containing some 20 isles and islets, only two are larger than 25 square miles. Yet the three largest isles, Jersey, Guernsey, and Alderney, are all origins to productive cattle breeds. Alderney cattle disappeared with the German occupation of the Channel Islands during World War II. Jersey cattle are a popular hobby farm and homestead breed. And if interested, you can catch our Jersey Spotlight, which is linked in the description. But today, I'll focus on the third breed, the Guernsey. Famous for their rich, golden-colored milk, Guernsey Gold milk contains 12% more protein, 30% more cream, 33% more vitamin D, 25% more vitamin A, and 15% more calcium than average milk. I'm Hobby Farm Guy Steve. Don't go away. The Guernsey cattle breed is up next. We don't know exactly which breed or breeds contributed to the development of the Guernsey, but we do understand that they developed in isolation. Historians believe monks, arriving in 960 AD, brought cattle from Brittany with them. Then another monastery was founded in the 11th century, and these monks brought brindled cattle from Normandy. The Guernsey does resemble some French breeds, including the extinct Isigny and the gravely endangered Froment du Léon. There may have also been some influence from Dutch cattle in the 18th century. Originally used as dairy, meat, and draft animals, the early population was variable in size and in color. Over the next several centuries, cattle on the island were isolated from other cattle and were selected for the richness and quantity of their milk. Around 1700, Guernseys were recognized as a separate breed, and by the early 1800s, it was illegal to import other cattle on the island to prevent crossbreeding. The first Channel Island cattle were imported to Britain in 1724. These imports were typically referred to as Aldernary cattle, regardless of which island they came from. Within 50 years, hundreds of cattle were being imported annually. Two-thirds of the cattle came from Jersey, and the remainder came from the other islands. Guernseys made their debut in the U.S. in 1840, when three Aldernary cows were brought to New York, followed by a bull and two heifers from the island of Guernsey. The American Guernsey Cattle Club was formed in 1877. The Guernsey is usually white and fawn colored or broken colored in various shades from yellow to brown to red. The end of the tail, legs, and underside are usually white. The Guernsey may also be solid in color. Yellowish color is seen around the eyes and on the skin. The muzzle is cream colored and the feet are amber in color. Guernseys have lovely, short, arching horns, but there's also a polled variety found primarily in North America. Standing 54 inches tall or more, Guernseys are medium to large, with cows weighing 1,400 pounds and bulls 2,000 pounds or more. A distinctive characteristic of the breed is the golden color of its milk, which results from exceptionally high levels of beta-carotene, a precursor to vitamin A. It's thought that the Guernsey excels in its ability to absorb this nutrient and transfer it to its butter fat. The milk is also high in butter fat, nearly 6%, and butter made from the milk is distinctively golden. Another selling point for many is that 96% of the Guernsey cows carry the protein beta casein A2 in their milk, whereas most dairy cows produce A1 milk. The primary difference between A1 and A2 is the amino acid sequence, which influences how the proteins are broken down during digestion. When digested, A1 releases almost triple the amount of a specific amino acid peptide that has been speculated to induce inflammation. The result being, many people that can't drink A1 milk can drink A2 milk just fine, and there are speculated health benefits derived from drinking A2 milk. Since Guernsey cattle are smaller bodied, they're very efficient at converting the feed they consume into milk. They often require 20 to 30% less food to produce milk with higher components than other dairy breeds. They also tend to reach maturity earlier, which means they can be bred sooner and become part of the milking herd at a younger age. They're known for a mild temperament and disposition, and generally have easy calvings. They're the only breed to have no known and documented undesirable genetic disorders. Guernsey cattle are adaptable to different climates and different management strategies. They produce well in both pasture and confinement dairy farms. Today, numbers of Guernseys are decreasing slightly due to the increase in the popularity of the Holstein, but it remains a popular breed in the U.S., the U.K., Canada, South Africa, Australia, and New Zealand. Due to falling numbers, the Guernsey breed is on the watch list maintained by the American Livestock Breeds Conservancy. So, what do you think? Is the Guernsey cow for you? Let us know if you have this breed. What are your thoughts? 
Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember, like, subscribe, happy hobby farming.